Losing a loved one is always hard, but it can be even harder when they die away from home. Whether it is due to travel, work, or relocation, many people face the challenge of dealing with a death in one state and a burial in another state. This can involve several steps and costs that can add to the stress and grief of the family. However, there are ways to make this process easier and more manageable. This video will explain some of the common challenges and solutions of handling a death in one state and a burial in another state. Obtaining the death certificate and other legal documents from the state where the death occurred. The death certificate is an essential document that proves the fact and cause of death. It is also required for many other purposes, such as claiming life insurance, settling the estate, or transferring property. The death certificate is usually issued by the local registrar or health department in the state where the death occurred. However, different states may have different rules and procedures for obtaining the death certificate, such as who can request it, how long it takes, how much it costs, and how many copies are needed. Therefore, it is important to check with the state authorities and follow their instructions carefully. Other legal documents that may be needed include the will, the power of attorney, the advance health care directive, and the obituary. Choosing a funeral home or cremation provider in both states and coordinating the transportation of the body or ashes. One of the most important decisions that families have to make is whether to bury or cremate their loved one. This may depend on their personal preferences, religious beliefs, or environmental concerns. However, it may also affect the cost and complexity of transporting the body or ashes from one state to another. Generally speaking, cremation is cheaper and easier than burial, as it does not require embalming, casket, vault, or grave. However, some families may prefer burial for sentimental or cultural reasons. In either case, families have to choose a funeral home or cremation provider in both states and coordinate the transportation of the body or ashes. This may involve contacting different providers, comparing their prices and services, arranging the pickup and delivery dates and times, obtaining the necessary permits and authorizations, and paying for the transportation fees. Deciding whether to embalm the body or use dry ice or refrigeration, depending on the state laws and the distance of the transportation, Embalming is a process that preserves the body by injecting chemicals into the blood vessels. It is often done to delay decomposition, prevent infection, or improve appearance. However, embalming is not required by law in most states, unless there is a public health concern or a long delay between death and burial. Embalming can also be expensive and invasive. Therefore, some families may opt for alternative methods to preserve the body during transportation, such as using dry ice or refrigeration. However, these methods may also have limitations, such as availability, cost, safety, or effectiveness. Therefore, families have to decide whether to embalm the body or use dry ice or refrigeration based on their preferences, the state laws, and the distance of the transportation. Comparing the prices and services of different providers and avoiding unnecessary or unwanted expenses, the cost of dealing with a death in one state and a burial in another state can vary widely depending on the choices and options that families make. Some of the factors that can affect the cost are the type of service, funeral, cremation, or direct disposition, the type of merchandise, casket, urn, or vault, the type of transportation, air, ground, or rail, the location and availability of providers, and the additional fees or taxes that may apply. Therefore, it is important for families to compare the prices and services of different providers and to ask for a written estimate or a price list before signing any contract or paying any money. Families should also be aware of any hidden fees, cancellation policies, or refund policies that may apply. Moreover, families should avoid any unnecessary or unwanted expenses that may be imposed by funeral providers or pressured by salespeople, such as embalming, cosmetic treatments, viewing, or expensive merchandise. Arranging the funeral or memorial service in the destination state and inviting the family and friends. The funeral or memorial service is a way to honor and celebrate the life of the deceased. It can also provide comfort and support for the family and friends who are grieving. However, arranging the funeral or memorial service in the destination state can be challenging, especially if the family and friends are scattered across different locations. Families have to decide when and where to hold the service, what type of service to have, 
religious, spiritual, secular, or interfaith, who to invite and how to notify them, what music and readings to choose, what photos and videos to display, and what food and drinks to serve. Families may also have to deal with travel arrangements, accommodation, and transportation for themselves and their guests. Dealing with the emotional and practical aspects of losing a loved one away from home. Losing a loved one is always painful, but it can be even more so when they die away from home. Families may feel a sense of shock, disbelief, anger, guilt, or sadness. They may also feel disconnected from their loved one or their community. They may have to cope with the loss without their usual support network or rituals. They may also have to deal with the practical aspects of settling the estate, transferring the property, or closing the accounts of their loved one. Therefore, it is important for families to seek emotional and practical support from their family, friends, counselors, lawyers, or financial advisors. Solutions for making the process easier and more manageable. Despite the challenges of dealing with a death in one state and a burial in another state, there are ways to make the process easier and more manageable. Some of the solutions are Pre-planning the end-of-life services Pre-planning is the process of making decisions and arrangements for one's own or someone else's funeral or memorial service before death occurs. It can include choosing a funeral home, a casket or urn, a burial or cremation option, a memorial service, and even a legacy project. Pre-planning can also involve creating legal and financial documents, such as a will, a power of attorney, an advance healthcare directive, and an obituary. Pre-planning can have many benefits for the family, such as reducing stress and conflict, saving money and time, honoring the wishes and values of the dying person, and providing peace of mind and closure. Choosing cremation over burial. Cremation is the process of reducing the body to ashes by exposing it to high temperatures. It is often cheaper and easier than burial, as it does not require embalming, casket, vault, or grave. Cremation can also offer more flexibility and personalization for the family, as they can choose when and where to scatter or keep the ashes, what type of urn or container to use, what type of memorial service to have, and what type of tribute or keepsake to create. However, cremation may not be suitable for everyone due to personal preferences, religious beliefs, or environmental concerns. Finding reputable and trustworthy providers is crucial for ensuring a smooth and satisfactory experience when dealing with a death in one state and a burial in another state. Families should look for providers that have a good reputation, offer quality services, respect their wishes, and do not pressure them into buying unnecessary or expensive products or services. Families can check online reviews, ask for referrals from friends or family, or consult with consumer protection agencies to find reliable providers. Families should also read the contract carefully, ask questions, and get everything in writing before signing any contract or paying any money. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel.